Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you all once again to our today's episode of this program. Now, we, the Nation Voice, the voice where they reveal the secret things when they be said the government and the politicians that they said they cover. And on our today's program, we get this news for our table when he talks, say, Trump say he blasts China for the way when he be said that they maltreat Nigerians and every others. See, this very act, see, now xenophobia. And before we go properly to the details of this news, in case today not the first time when you be said to hear about us on the channel be this, we say you are highly welcome. I beg do us a favor. You see that red subscribe button, press on. And the small bell when they nearer, press on as well so that anytime we take upload a video again, you know what they suffer to look for. It will only come to you like a message. Our prayer always be said, the same way when you be said to the supporters of the channel. And they say, well, we God with the same people, we will support you for everything when it's good, when you put your hands to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, my people, we will go straight to the details of this news. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic cause understand, say, the U.S. Donald Trump say on Saturday he accused Chinese authorities of xenophobia for the way when he be said that they behave towards Africans. After COVID-19 coronavirus cases, among Nigerians, they carry their anger, follow them, they threw away their things for outside for the city of Guangzhou. And as we go deep again, the concept make we remember, say, for recent weeks, say, U.S. don't feel accused Benjit for lack of transparency for the beginning of this coronavirus epidemic. When he be said, they don't first detect for late 2019 for China's city of Wuhan. The constitution say, the delay action for the rest of the world when it be say it can result to thousands of deaths. Again, the country say Africans for the northern part of China when it be say it be the largest metropolis say they tell AFP say they don't kick the command for the place when it be say that they lodge and even they don't turn them away from their hotel and also their houses all because of say. They suspect, say, all these new cases when they be say he come out again for this coronavirus, say, now because of uh, Nigerians. And again, the counter say the abuse and maltreatment of Africans when they be say that they live and work for China, say, now, sad reminder of how hollow the PROC African partnership really be. And he can see talk again, say, the time now when it be said we're supposed to they support one another to recover from this pandemic, say the Republic of China officials, say that they recklessly they hide from the world. The China officials say that they're busy, they drive African students into the streets without food or shelter. Anyone when it be said if they watch China engagement for project across Africa, they will recognize this kind of abusive and manipulative behavior. It comes to add again. The treatment when it be say Africans they receive for Guangzhou say it don't draw the attention and expression of extreme concern for on Saturday from the president of the African Union. The contour says since 2017 when it be say the administration of President Donald Trump they show up. Say it show a little interest for Africa. The constitution say, but say it don't repeatedly warn about China's intention for the whole continent. It constantly argue against say the investment and loans when it be said that they give to Africa country say it not be ordinary loan. Say it did less than just to be a friend. And it constitution say. All the promises when it be said that they make to Africans when it be said that they work and study for China, say they never they keep them. And it not they be like the way when it be said that they, they advertise them. And for us to conclude this whole matter, it can to say to treat people, especially students, this way during this very global public health crisis. It talk everything about how the Republic of China they view their so-called partnership with Africa. All right, my people, now the news when it be say we receive from the president of the US where he named now President Donald Trump. Now it be this one when it be say that it is speak out on behalf of Africa the way when China they treat 
Africa, most especially Nigeria, na it be this very one. And uh, before I will leave, we will make una share our opinion with us for the comment section. He get this video when it concerns the Chinese for Africa, the kind thing when it be said that they do, their citizens they do for Africa, when it be said that they, they, they humiliate Africa for their country. I want to make you watch this video. I'll come back for the conclusion. This is the home of the 37 Chinese nationals who were on Friday charged with possession of suspected stolen items at Buganda Road Court. This follows an ongoing police probe that unveiled the racket after concerns by some neighbors. The raid showed motherboards of used phones and laptops reportedly stolen in Uganda, then repackaged and exported to China. And these motherboards uh, for the phones we suspect were snatched from Ugandans. There were also wildlife exhibits like tortoises, pangolin scales and fish maw also recovered from this house. This is not a phone processing plant, but a makeshift control room with over 2,000 phones, each connected with a Ugandan SIM card in the names of certain individuals. Several Airtel and MTN new lines are visible. So far, police investigations show that these are used for financial crime, especially on the WeChat social media. We note that these phones were connected to an online platform called WeChat. This is basically a Chinese-owned platform and it is used for messaging and financial transactions. Now, the preliminary investigations we've had indicated that there were so many financial transactions done on that WeChat. And uh, basically the targets were Chinese, whether there are some other transactions that have been done that compromise our financial institutions and even the security generally. Uh, there is also something uh, we have also noticed that all these telephones which are up are bearing the Ugandan telephone lines of Airtel majorly with over 1,895 SIM cards and also MTN of around 223. Well, uh, this is one of the rooms that uh, these Chinese have actually been uh, sleeping in, as you can see, uh, the bed sheets and the duvets. But again, according to police, uh, they picked interest in another potential crime, that is smuggling. Because in this room we have boxes and boxes of cigarettes, and uh, if I can read here, it's uh, sept walls. And according to police, they're investigating how these boxes of cigarettes got into the country, and still, they're yet to find out if it's actually one of the types that is allowed to enter the country. According to police, some of these suspects were also transacting business without work permits as many entered the country using visitor's visa. Ali Mivole, NTV. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you don't watch that video. Yes, now the one when it happened for Uganda, na in be that one. Now Chinese, na in be all those ones. Una see how many thousands are thousands of phones when they be say all those people they connect to they do business. Una see the things when they be say they, dis they discover for where these people they live. They did that house. They own the as in they hold the house tight because they know what that they do for inside there. As that one happened for Uganda, so now so it be for all part of Africa. See that they make food out of Africa. Did they do their hidden deeds everywhere? Even in Lagos, now so it still be. Chinese will just occupy one few, full building. No other people they enter. Because there's no waiting that they do for inside there. As Nigerians, they travel all around the world. Now so Chinese be for everywhere. As Africans, they travel all around the world. Now so Chinese be for all over the places. No place where you will go now where you will see China, China, China man. So tell me the reason why Chinese will stand in these positions to say they want to humiliate Africa. Which all rights these people get? If not before our federal government, when it be say, it said our rights out to these people. If other white country, other foreign countries see they humiliate Africa, we will say they get reason, not be Chinese. Not be Chinese when they be say yes. They even sit there in the same line with us. They, they travel even the way we will travel. You see, everything we would talk, it must still fall back to the federal government. If you see all the part of all the company when they be say Nigeria get today, the, the, the most uh, expensive 
company na Chinese. Road construction na Chinese. Nepal power hold company na Chinese. So many vital, vital things for Nigeria. They don't hand over them to Chinese. All because of say loan. That they borrow loan, carry loan for their hand. That they borrow money for their hand. They don't mortgage the future of our unborn children to these people. Tell me why they not will get this advantage over us. Tell me why they not will they do something. They deal with us without conscience. Eh? Tell me. You see, even as you see this very one and when it be say happen for Uganda, so although not be Nigeria, this one for happen. Before you know what it they happen now, their governments or their consulates will come now. They can't remove these people for this crime. Before you know what it they happen, they don't fly the commodities. They don't go to their own country. Yes, all these things, Nigerians or Africans never engage in this kind of hidden this, shading this business for their country. Now, when they, when, they, when they accuse Africa, they throw Africa around like this. So. Eh? Because we know, we know no time when it be say we, Africa, hold our people strong, value them, say, okay, now our citizens be this one. We hold them in the high esteem so that every other nation, before they deal with them, they will know, say, ah, if I do this thing, I don't know how their government will take react. If we know that come to that awareness, it will hard for us to get advantage before the eyes of other leader all over the world. Ever since this issue happened, Nigerians that they cry up and say they won't come back home. If not really sound government, you know what take them a week or two before they'll go, go evacuate their citizens for that very place. Nigerians, our foreign, foreign minister, of, uh, minister of Foreign Affairs, now he stand up about two days ago, say that they wait. They will see how they want to go remove those people. For how long now did they suffer for that? And another thing, when they want to talk, they talk, say they will try to make sure they subsidize. Uh, the, the people, when they, they will bring part of the money, Niger, uh, Nigeria government will bring part of the money. The finance, they don't know how they will take get the money when they want to go evacuate their citizens. What is she? <laughs> My dear people, you see, the Nigeria issue not be, we don't know how we want to talk. Huh? Tell me, how, how these people, we know ramification, how they want to respect us. How? How? This thing never strong, rich like this. Before we know what they happen, Israel don't come remove their citizen. Before we know what they happen, USA don't remove their citizen. Even from the mouth of the uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, now even talking as sick, even uh, UK, that they, they come one country remove their citizen. You know how many thousands upon thousands of people when they, they, are, they, are, when they, they die for UK, when they die for America, when they die for Israel. So when they say they still they come, one country they remove their citizen for the place where they say this thing never affect like that. They value their people. They value the, this one to show how they value their people. Our own government, they not be like that. You can't say me and other people can't respect us. How they want to respect us? How? How they want to respect us? Because my people always talk and say, if person when he gets something, call him, call this thing saying a valuable something. The person will not get it if he come, if he see him, he will respect him. But if you you will get and say, nah, no sense something, if the person will not will not get and come, he will use that way that he. That's where he be. Because any respect when the foreign body will give us, it will stand for the federal government. It will stand for our leader. Yes. Because now the way when they treat us, now others will see, stand upon to treat us. All right, my people. I will leave Unana make Una share on our opinion with us for the comment session because I don't want to really labor this matter too much. I beg, I will beg Una one thing, say, make Una help us share this message so that it will feel still reach our brothers and sisters all over the world. As you do so, God Almighty will bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I will see you again when I see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.